My friend, from my family to your family, I wish you a very happy Labor Day. And I do pray that you're taking some time off and you're playing. I really do. You need it. The strengthening of faith comes from staying with faith in the hour of trial. And we should not shrink from tests of faith. We do so, I think, when we're overly fatigued. We'll crawl into our corner. We'll try to hide. We'll try to put the clamshell down over us. In Job 2, verse 10, it says, We take the good days from God. Why not also the bad days? On a time like Labor Day, it's a good time to reflect on our lives. And I can tell you, I've had many bad days in my life. But looking back, some of those bad days were the best days that I ever had. Even though it was hellish in the moment to go through what I went through, and what you may be going through right now, with God... We can turn that bad experience into something great and later on say, thank God that happened. Well, all of us face difficult days. When times are tough, even the most optimistic men and women can become discouraged. And I'm no exception. You're no exception. After all, we live in a world where expectations can be very high and the demands can be even higher. If you become discouraged with the direction of your day or your life, turn your thoughts and your prayers over to God. Focus on God's blessings and not your hardships. What a wonderful thing to do over Labor Day to focus on the blessings, to seek God's will, and to follow it, and to ask God to give you strength, and expect God to work miracles. God is a God of possibility, not negativity. God will guide you through your difficulties, and, my friend, way, way, way beyond them. God bless you.